Hi everyone, I hope you're having a beautiful day. I just got done filming an outfit of the day and I had a few minutes left while the kids were eating dinner. So I thought I'd make my October and September favorites because I wasn't able to make a favorites for September because I was still trying out things and, and yeah, didn't come up with quite a long list. And then I realized it doesn't have to be a long list every time. So, and these are going to be my favorites for those two months combined, so I'm doing October's early. And let's start with my new favorite, favorite brush. That would be, this one is dirty, I just used it this morning, the MAC 130 brush. Now I know if you guys have seen my previous videos, you heard me raving about the MAC 130, 188, my bad, 188. Now, the difference between these two is pretty big. These bristles are cut much shorter and they are a lot denser. This one does this job of the 88, the 188 in half the time. So it is my new brush that I use for my concealer and it works way quicker and I love it and now I don't know what to do with the 188 it's too late for me to return it, even though I have my receipt I don't think I can return it I could try to swap it I mean I don't know well it seems as if I always have a new favorite mascara first it was I think I, I was like crazy about the pulse perfection then it was what was it I don't even I can't even remember but I know the latest one that I was so crazy about was the Faux Seals from YSL. And I still have a video. I have made it already. I just got to edit it for the review on that one. And it was it, it really looked beautiful when you applied it. But by the end of the day, it wasn't as beautiful anymore. Um, a lot of it wore off and it ended up here. Underneath, you know, right there. Not cute. So... My all time now I'm I'm pro, I'm positive of this. The only way that this could change is if the same company comes out with a thickening formula, which they did, but it smudges. Yeah, I have a review on it on my blog, if you guys want to check it out. But my all time favorite mascara is the Anju Fiber Wig. This is the Japanese version, I think. I'm not sure. I ordered it from an Asian website, but this is the Sephora one. I love this mascara. It never smudges. It's easy to take off and it lengthens and thickens depending on how much you apply. It does thicken. I wish I had an HD camera so you guys could really see like how nice it really looks. It holds your curl like none other. Like it, it seriously, your lashes will stay as curled until you take your mascara off. So I love, love, love that. So, favorite mascara, period. And I am loving this brush. Now that I finally got the hang of using it correctly, it, I love it. And that would be the Sephora Professional Smudge Brush. That's all it says, number 14. This is what it looks like. You guys have seen it in my tutorials if you had a chance to catch my recent tutorials. Looks like that. This brush is so great for smudging because a lot of people tend to use, you know, a brush like the 219 to smudge, which is also great and I use it sometimes too. But this one is just... It's just so much more precise. Like I can do the smallest amount of smudging because I don't, on my lower lash line, I don't like to go all out too often and have like a thick line on the bottom. I just don't do that often, if at all. So this is perfect because it gives me just the right definition on the lower lash line without looking too dark too much. I really like it. Another favorite would have to be my high beam. This is so beautiful. It really just gives you that healthy dewy glowy 
just really pretty effect to you it. You can use it on multiple places on your face. I tend to stick with just, you know, highlighting right there. That's where I like to use it the most, but of course you can use it down the bridge of your nose, Cupid's bow, all that good stuff. And you can mix it with like Benetit or Posy Tint. I haven't done that as of yet because I have like this little sample of Posy Tint. But I'm excited to try it. This stuff will last you forever. I think this cost me like $24 or something like that. Which might sound pricey because like look at this compared to my hand. It's not that big. It's like a nail polish bottle, right? But it will last you forever. You need so little. It spreads out a lot and a little goes a long way it's very easy to blend but you want to make sure you blended it in well otherwise it's gonna look crazy but it's gonna look obvious i should say not crazy but very pretty i recommend it for anybody it's just really nice really pretty i've also been using this eyeshadow like crazy like crazy and it's ironic because I, I believe I recently heard that it was going to be discontinued and I hope it's a rumor and not an actual fact but it's called typographic and it's by MAC and it's basically a muted it's like a, a faded black color it's not gray it's not as black as carbon but yeah I'd say like a faded black pretty much and it's a matte and I really love using it because it's so easy to blend it's just it blends like a dream and I don't do super intense looks all the time so it's just enough pigment to in, you know intensify my crease or the outer V of um of my eye depending on what look I'm doing and it's not too harsh it's just it's perfect for a lot of the looks that I've been doing recently and yeah I love that eyeshadow and I love carbon too don't get me wrong carbon is like the probably one of the best matte black shadows out there but typographic is one to get definitely but yeah, I think that that is it. It's pretty short. You guys have been sticking with the same things pretty much every month. Like my concealers and, you know, yeah. I've been pretty happy with the stuff that I have right now. So it's a pretty short list and I don't want it to be too repetitive. So I'm going to leave it at that. I hope you guys have a beautiful week and I'll talk to you guys later.